I'm hoping that the slight breeze doesn't negatively affect the audio, but I just want to take a moment to share my project today. This is a set of Trojan T105 six volt batteries in my golf cart, and I've decided to replace them with the lithium batteries from Dakota Digital. And here they are, just three of them. And I chose the 60 amp hour. They make a 100 amp hour, but the 100 amp hour, you cannot run on a 400 amp controller. And that is because of the instantaneous demand. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but these batteries can support a higher instantaneous demand, what you would call cold cranking amps for a, an engine battery. These have a higher cold cranking amp or instantaneous current rating than the 100 amp. So I had to go with these since I have a 400 amp controller, but these batteries are so light. Watch this, one finger, just one finger and I'm picking it up. I, I would venture a guess to say that these three batteries are comparable to the weight of one of these. So the weight savings alone is a big deal. But let me tell you why I bought these, because the, the Dakota lithium batteries, they are more expensive, but they carry an 11 year warranty and they specifically chose an 11 year warranty because they were gonna offer a 10 year warranty, but they do everything 110%. So they said, why not do that with a warranty as well? So they said, okay, we'll make it 11. So 11 years, and I've replaced these Trojan batteries. They start going bad typically every four years. And I'll do what I can to stretch them to five. And they've cost me typically around $1,000 a set. Maybe I can get a good deal and, and get them for a little bit less. But what it takes to replace them, the time and all things considered, if, if these... Dakota lithium batteries will last 11 years. And that's just what they're warranted. They're guaranteed to last 11 years. I, maybe they'll last 15. God, I would hope so. But if they last as long as they're guaranteed to last, I'll say, all things considered, I'm going to save money. So to me, it's a no-brainer. So I'm going to replace these batteries. I'm going to change out the connections with one op cables instead of, I had some four gauge cables, I believe in there. So the interconnect cables, I'm gonna put one op cable in there. And then I had to get a charger too. So all in, I ended up spending, I believe $2,100 for the charger and everything. Now some of these Trojan batteries are still okay. So for somebody who wants to roll with a used battery for you know, maybe just try to cure the problem where they have six batteries but one of them's bad and they want just one more battery to carry them another year some of these batteries will do okay for them so i'm going to sell the good batteries and i'll scrap the the bad ones but i'll be able to recoup some of the money because i'm also not going to be using the charger the the dakota batteries i had to get a lithium charger so all in it was 2100 dollars. but i'll be able to sell the trojan charger i'm guessing 250 dollars and then a few of these batteries, maybe I'll be able to recoup $450. So to me, it makes a lot of sense to get these Dakota Lithiums. Also, I was told that these will carry this golf cart. They'll run the golf cart for 25 miles. I don't know if that's wide open throttle or if that's just cruising. I mean, I believe that you know, a lot of manufacturers are gonna want to give you the highest number possible, but hell, even if they'll do 20 miles, I'd be ecstatic. So again, I don't wanna, spend any more time or too much more time discussing it. But I did want to share with people that own golf carts why I made the choice to go to Dakota Lithium batteries, even though they're so much more expensive. Because over the long haul, I truly believe that I'm going to spend much less money over the next 11 years. Thanks for watching.